For most people, the typical Lepidopteran is a big butterfly, a butterfly that is active during the day and has a coiled proboscis, which it uses to suck nectar. While most uh, members of the order Lepidoptera have this proboscis, this was not the original feature of the first members of the order, which were moths. No butterfly fossils are known from the Paleozoic era. There are fossils of Lepidoptera wing scales known from the Triassic-Jurassic border, and fossils of primitive moths are known from the Jurassic period. From the basal groups of Lepidoptera in the Jurassic evolved the most primitive moths alive today. These basal Lepidopterans, about 250 modern species, lack a coil proboscis, and they have more typical mouth parts capable of chewing. They also have more uh, primitive scales, a greater resemblance to the sister group of butterflies, the caddisflies. The caterpillars uh, can be detrivores, feeding on dead material rather than uh, eating leaves and other primitive features. And so the most primitive moth seem to have a more ancestral type of mouth part. From primitive Lepidopterans evolved the suborder Glossata, uh, which includes most of the species of the order Lepidoptera. Their maxillary and labial palps were no longer functional, and they had elongated structures which could form a sucking proboscis, which would allow them to drink nectar uh, or sap from plants or trees or ingest fluids from other uh, surfaces. So this was a defining uh, characteristic in the suborder Glossata. Within this suborder, uh, the major group uh, that has about 98% of all butterflies and moths um, is defined by the presence of two reproductive openings in females, one for mating, one for laying eggs. And these uh, Lepidopterans are first known in the Cretaceous period. The first butterflies known in the fossil record occur in the Paleogene period. The proboscis in modern butterflies can vary. Some moths do not form mouth parts as adults and do not feed, only feeding as larvae. In some uh, butterflies and moths, the proboscis is quite small, while in others, it has lengthened to allow the butterfly to feed uh, while flying uh, at a distance from the flower, uh, reaching almost 30 centimeters in length. 